The NRG Stadium in Houston, Texas is the second stop for the West Division drivers in their BMNG Monster Jam season. Last week in El Paso, rain marred the event with drivers angry over track conditions. We're now here in the NRG Stadium. No rain whatsoever here. We'll see what the drivers can do after last week. Houston, Texas, NRG Stadium, BMNG Monster Jam action coming up next. Put it up, let's get it on. Made it this far, time to show the world was number one. Number one. Pull it up to the line, let's do it. Let's do it. Anything in my way, I'm running through. I'm running through. I watch the lights and my hands are sweaty. I hear the people screaming, so you better get ready. Yeah. Cause when it drops, I'ma take the shot. Rock the spot, make it hot. Cause it's about that time. It's about that. It's about that. It's been a long time. Uh, it's about that time. It's about that. Cause it's about that. It's been a long time. Uh, it's about that time. Cause it's about that. The final event of week two of the BMNG Monster Jam Series Season 3 heads out west to Houston, Texas in the NRG Stadium. This is going to be an amazing event here for sure. I'm Joe Kuskin, alongside me, Trey Bardo. Trey, the last two uh, uh, divisions had events on Christmas Day and Christmas Eve. These drivers got to spend some time with their families on both Christmas Eve, Christmas Day. Now they're here the day after Christmas. What do you expect to see out of these 15 West Division drivers here in Houston? Think any of these guys have a little bit of a, a Christmas hangover? I hope not, but uh, we'll have to see uh, <laughs> if they end their runs early. Who knows? Maybe, maybe they do, Trey. Too much eggnog there, yeah. But uh, no, yeah, we're excited to see how these drivers tackle this track. It looks like a, I mean, it looks like a great setup. Looks like there could be some uh, good moments here. So we'll have to see what the drivers can come out of it. There are some really steep ramps down with the bus stacks and that middle triple jump. But there are a lot of obstacles in this course. We saw out in St. Louis last night. There was a lot of room for drivers to try and correct their truck corral them in. It doesn't look like that'll be the case here in the NRG Stadium, in Houston. A very cluttered floor. We'll see how it works for these 15 West Division drivers. Let's take a look at the field of trucks for free style. Starting us off will be Thor with Pringle Man by the wheel and Spider-Man. It's Levi Jones and then obsessed we have Brandon Beal. El Toro Loco, it's Argentina. Bro Camino has Ryan Wilson and Engrave Digger, it's Cody Anderson. Then we have Big Kuna, Zachary Fitzwater Sr. and Mel Militia, Brendan Sarland and then Lucas O Crusader, it's Logan Williams. And Jester, it's Josh Things. Megalodon has Johnny Cox and then Titan, it's Connor Annapool. Then the final three, Superman with Riley Sampson, Jurassic Attack, Noah Clifton, and in the Max D, it's Anthony Hernandez, last week's winner. So here we go. From Houston, the NRG Stadium, kicking us off, Thor, Pringle Man, not the run he wanted, El in El Paso. He's back in Texas this time in Houston at the NRG Stadium. We'll see if he can try and do some better things here. He starts off 90 seconds off of the racing lane. You know, I just want to say one thing. Uh, uh, compared to, you know, yesterday was Central, I'm glad we're not on the, on the ground floor this time, though. Yeah, I think uh, if we were on the ground floor, Trey, we'd be in some, some trouble because I don't know where trucks are going to be going after any of these jumps. You can see, <laughs> look at all these obstacles out here, Trey. How are you going to predict where you're going to land when you're, you know, 20 feet in the air or so? I don't think you can predict with this. I mean, there is literally not that much room. You could maybe fit one to two trucks within the spaces you have here. But uh, other than that, you know... You get in some trouble here, uh, you're not going to have a little bit of a difficult time to get out of it. Well, Pringle Man is going to hope he can fill out the full 90 seconds so far, about halfway through. He's had some solid momentum, some solid hits. He is now halfway through the run, so he can maybe start picking up even more in that Thor truck, trying to rebound after the bad run. El Paso, huge air off the bus stack. Well, that's one thing these jumps are oh. oh, my goodness. Well, oh, is he going to be able to? No. Well, we were just talking about it, Joe. You get your truck into some trouble here, and... Uh, you might not be able to get out of that one, and right there, Thor got huge air off the bus stack, but uh, sadly had no room to uh, settle that down. Yeah, that is one of the bad things about going out first. I mean, you don't know what's going to happen. You get air off of that, you don't know where you're going to land. Right here, he's going over forwards. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. They packed those cars with dirt, you can see as well, so that is a very scary moment for Pringle Man, the Thor truck, and it's going to be another early end to his freestyle run just like last week in El Paso. Let's see what the scores as they come down to 13 for the Pringle Man and Thor. So not 
not not, not good at all f to start out his season here in that Thor triple CV rebound the final three events, but so far not good. As we have Spider-Man and Levi Shones out next. Another driver went over early in El Paso. Went over on a crazy move, a wheelie into the pod section. Went, flipped him over. We'll see if he can try and take it easy here and fill out the full 90 seconds. He starts off once again over the racing lane. Assuming it's Team Marvel. Is that is that a, is that a real team? I, I guess don't, I, Joe, I don't know any of the teams here. I, maybe they are. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe all maybe all these guys kind of go together out here in the West Division. Where's our boss man? Get get him on. The, get him over here. I want to talk to him. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think he's available right again. I don't know if he's gonna want to no. come in here. Trail. He wants to uh, bother with us. That's that's true. That's fair enough. Oh my goodness there. I don't think he was expecting that truck to bounce so much going over that little rock section right there. That's a little pond section truck. You're used to seeing <laughs> that at the World Finals, but uh, they brought out to Houston here for these West Division drivers. And I don't think they I think they forgot to put water in, into it too. I mean, I, it looks bone dry. That's a little bit. I don't know if there's a <laughs> lot, but uh, I think there's just a little bit. We'll have to see if some... Oh! Oh no! He broke Is that a four link? link? That's a four link it looks like. Wow. That's, um, that's interesting. I don't even see where he hit that hard to break that, but uh, We'll have to see if it uh, hinders his run. Oh, it might be hindering his run a little bit here. As you saw, he got... Oh, my goodness! <laughs> oh, that bus that bus grabbed the Spider-Man truck in a way. I don't think I've ever seen a car grab a truck like that. Oh, my gosh. Well, I mean, he's still managing to get his run through, so, I mean, good job on him. Oh! oh was that... Oh, no! I... What just broke off? I think the four-link broke off, Trey. That just completely disconnected the front end of the, Did you see the way it was moving? Yeah, that's that's not good. That You know, th th this is one of the things. This season, they've been letting drivers go. You can see the four-link flying off right there. They've been letting drivers go with four-links break. I don't oh know if I... Oh, my goodness. I don't know if I agree with that, trait. You saw how it flew off. That could easily go into the stands. Yeah, and then as soon as it did. But, I mean, a 19.5. We got a new leader, Joe, so he can't be that upset about it. But he's got a pretty destroyed truck. Yeah, that truck is going to have to do a lot of work to make it to the next event for sure. We'll see if Brandon Bean obsessed. He had a really broken truck last week in El Paso. They uh, kind of fixed it up here for Houston. He's back. He's going to try and fill out the 490 seconds this time. And 19.5 by Levi Shones is a score to beat in Spider-Man. And Brandon Bean starting off big over the bus stack. Let's see how long this truck can last. Uh, what's this uh, pretty... Oh, no! I thought it wasn't going to last that long. So far, both of have gone up, not to the clock. Levi Schultz got within the final 10 seconds. Uh, Trey, maybe, I don't, it looks like there's some slight water in that pond. Yeah, a little bit of water, that's all right. It's good enough. Someone can go swimming here sooner or later. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so the first two tricks that have gone out have not filled the clock. Levi Schultz got within the final 10 seconds, but went over. We'll see if Brandon Beal can try and fill out the full 90 seconds here in the Obsessed. Looks like he's crossed rather than the bus stack. A huge sky oh wheelie! Oh, goodness. Oh, wow, and he's going to wheelie off of it. I mean, I don't know about you, but uh, maybe a little bit risky here soon. Oh, 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 oh look out. The wall oh, is coming no. up, and Brandon Beal's upside down in the Obsessed. Well, that's three for three right now with uh, trucks that uh, can't seem to fill the clock. Yeah, that's three trucks. The first three that have gone out have not filled the clock, and Brandon Beal, this, this could have easily been saved, but he just kept turning. Yeah, I don't. I think he was trying to get it away from the wall because he was heading right towards it. But there's a point, you know, where you're pushing it over the limits, and I think he found it. And unfortunately for Brandon Beal, another bad run to kick off his West Division tour. It's going to be a 15.5. Sells in right between Spider Man and Thor right now. It's the three that have gone out. He's second place of those three, but so far no one has filled the clock. Can Argentina and the El Toro Loco be the first to do it as the fourth truck out? Here he comes in that crazy bull coming out. Where does he go to start out the 90 seconds? Looks like he's heading for the bus stack here. Not as much air as Thor, but I mean, that might be the safer route, so you can't blame him too much here, but uh. Either way, he's still getting to fill this track out a little bit. It's like that little, I don't know what you would call that little dirt obstacle right there. But he got over it nicely, got over the van stack. Now go over the bus the opposite way. Nice air right there, landing in a little bit of an awkward direction, but keeps it going the El Toro Loco. Now looking for his next move. Here's he's about 25 seconds into the run. Nice guy with it over the side of the van stack. Oh no, is that another four link broken? I think it is. Oh, and now Argentina's going on his nose, but back on all fours with a great save. But oh yeah, the rear of that Oh truck. no. Wow. It, 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 oh geez, did he break another one off? I don't know. Oh! Oh no! Oh, now it's broken oh, off. And that's gone. it's back on all fours. Will they let him keep, they're let, oh. Oh my goodness, look at the back of that truck. Yeah, I, I can't believe that they're letting this, this run continue, Trey. 
We might have to uh, talk with the officials after this. Oh, is he going to be able to pull out of this one? No. I think he's just going to give up. So Argentina and El Toro Loco, about 25 seconds left, had two great saves in the run, but that truck broke, and I, I, once again, Trey, another four-link has come off here. I, I I think I'd be rethinking letting trucks go with broken four-link bars. You know, they, they can easily fly, fly off. We've seen, we also saw, you know, last night a shock break on Medusa, and they let it keep going. I, I just don't know about this. Hey, we're just the commentators, Joe. We're not the officials. So, I mean, in theory, we don't have much say in this event, but we can talk about what we see from up here. And uh, I have to agree with you. It's not the safest option to let these trucks go with broken forings. I mean, just look what it does to the back of it. Yeah, that is, that, that truck is, it's, oh, it is twisting in a way. It's like a pretzel almost with how it's kind of twisting like that. Pretty much. I mean, what didn't break off of it? <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Even for leaving, 24 seconds on the clock train, 18.5 is only one point short of the lead. So that's right now second place for Argentina. Imagine if he filled the clock, he could have been in the 20s. So far, no truck has scored in the 20s. Ryan Wilson, the Bro Camino, trying to be the first to do that as he's coming out to the floor. And it looks like he's setting up for the bus deck for his first hit, the 90 seconds. Going off it, that is a massive air in the Bro Camino. Starting off big here, I mean, I don't think he's scared from what we see from the rest of it. I mean, I'm pretty sure every truck we've had so far broke something on it mechanically-wise, so I don't think he's too scared about doing that at the moment. And we know Ryan Wilson has a lot of confidence in uh, this Bro Camino truck. He has had some great freestyles over the past season in it and uh, trying to rekindle that magic from last season to bring it here this season. Went over early in El Paso looking to try and rebound here in Houston. And so far, he's coming out with an aggression that says he is angry after what happened last week. And he's going for it in that Bro Camino. This is our fifth truck out, right? I think it's our fifth truck out. But uh, we haven't had a single one fill the clock. So, you know, we always talk about... The one of the key to wins is to fill the clock. I think what you have to do to win is to fill the clock. Yeah, I mean, so far, uh, the only one that's come close, Levi Shones in the Spider-Man, and he leads freestyle. So that just shows how important it is to fill a lot of the clock. But if you can fill the full 90 seconds, I think you're up there. He's now into the final 30. So right now, Ryan Wilson has a shot to do in the Pro Camino. He's going to get a little wobbly over that, but he can control. He's going to hit the back. Oh, oh my no. goodness. Oh, no. He wow. stuffed it into that van that broke the... It looked like it broke the whole front end off it. That's... That... Did you see the th way that thing recoiled off the van? Is there dirt in that van? I think I think they may have packed all the cars, Trey, with dirt. I don't know who was in charge of that. Look at that. Oh, oh my Another goodness. Four, four links broken. Is that a... Is that a, is that a tie rod right there that's, that's hanging man. off the... Oh, wow. my God. Goodness. Ryan Wilson destroys his truck. It's going to be a 16.5 for the Bro Camino. That is five trucks out. The highest score, 19.5, and the lowest time left, nine seconks. But we know the Gravedigger clan, they, they, they're they known to go big. Cody Anderson, known to go big. But Kenny fell out the full 90 seconds. That's going to be the key to win here tonight in Houston. So, Juju, I have a feeling that <laughs> this truck might not make it the entire way just with it being Gravedigger. I mean... I don't think we've ever, we rarely have a Grave Digger truck make it the entire way without being broken. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm honestly scared for Cody Anderson because, I mean, this is a track that has, you know, taken no prisoners. It is just killing trucks left left and right. I mean, you got to know when you're a team Grave Digger, you got to go big. But at some point, can you go too big? And I think Cody Anderson's trying to think of that. Wow, he stuffed into that van. Did the front of that truck look like it was a little wobbly? I couldn't tell there after it, oh, it hit. The oh, the shock. Broken. The shock oh, is hanging goodness. off just like Medusa. And they're going to let him run with a broken shot. Oh! oh, and there goes the wheel. <laughs> oh my. Well, Trey, you talked about trucks breaking and how Gravedigger's won to do that a lot. Well, he, he's broken a lot already, and he's only halfway through the run. He's, uh, what, shocks broke, the wheel's off the truck. I'm pretty <laughs> sure there's probably a four-link broken. I wouldn't be surprised about that. He's going to put in some donuts. I mean, that's pretty much all you can do. I'd be surprised if he goes for more jumps because of just how painful oh. he's going to stuff it into the bus, though. And is he stuck? I think it, he might be uh, stuck. Uh, I don't think it's going to tip over. <laughs> I don't think so. And that is it for Cody Anderson. Grave Digger, about 20 seconds left. Train another truck that ends early. Look at that shock. I mean, it's just sticking out of it. He's going <laughs> to try saving it. Is this where the wheel breaks yep. off right here? Yep, there goes the wheel. Now it's sticking straight up. It kind of looks like Jurassic Attack. I mean, <laughs> he hasn't even come out of the track yet. I can't believe that. Look at this. It's a 15 for Cody Anderson, the Grave Digger. This track is eating trucks up, and with how this next man goes, Trey, can Fitzwater even come close to filling the clock? 
Joe, you see what's out there still? Yeah, I see a, I see a broken grave digger <laughs> sitting over there. Well, we'll have to see if that comes into play. Last time we had a truck out there, it uh, it, it definitely came into play. So, I mean, Fitzwater clearly oh, no! does not care. Wow. No, it does not care whatsoever. <laughs> I'll be honest, uh, I think Cody Anderson might be a little disappointed that Fitzwater's next because that truck might immediately get torn into the ground. Oh, if he can make it, that is. I mean, we've had no one make it, so we'll have to see how long Fitzy can last. He's got some nice air off the racing lane, though, and uh, they really pack these jumps steep, and it's almost like you're hitting a miniature wall each time you hit the ramps. It is, and I mean, Fitzwater, big good, and we know his main goal is to go big with every jump, and so far he's doing a really good job just flinging this truck around and getting whatever he can of it. He's about halfway through, through the run. We'll see if he can try and come close to the with the 90 seconds. Our first backflip of the night, Trey. He did it. I mean, and I don't think anything broke on the truck yet with uh, about 35 seconds remaining here. If he can, uh, I, I, if he can just make it to the end, I think we got a leader. I think so. I mean, 30 seconds left. He's had the momentum. Oh, no. oh now he's on two wheels. Trey, did we just jinx him? We did not because he saves it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I thought that was going to be another jinx for us, Joe. 20 seconds left for Fitzwater. Cross the the pond. He's up over backwards. He's going to put it back down to the wheels. And now he has 10 seconds left. I think he heard us because uh, he was checking to make sure there was water in that. What's he going to do now? He's going to air it over the triple. Oh! oh, no. There's another broken truck. And the clock ticks down to zero, Trey. We had our first winner, Joe. <laughs> first driver to fill the clock out. And it's Zachary Fitzwater, senior last season's world finals champion. After his bad run, El Paso is back here in Houston. This was the first hit, Trey, and it turned into an amazing save. The well, last truck we saw hit that way it was Thor, and it didn't end up too well. It almost got Fitzy, too. I mean, look at this. But luckily, the truck brought itself back over. So nice patience there by Fitzwater. There are a few more things to check out from this run. Here's the first backflip of the night, Trey. Couldn't, couldn't do it much better than that. That's a steep I ramp don't... also. Yeah, that is a, that is pretty, that is a pretty steep backflip ramp. But they built it well, so you, you can't get too upset. And right here, this save. This was... A very unique save because he's by the out of bounds, by a wall. He has to save it. And he does a great job. He does go into out of bounds, but he's under control with it, so they let him keep going. And this was the final move. Look at how this truck just stuffs into this hill. Oh! My goodness. Did he break two four link bars? He broke both four link bars. <laughs> yeah, wow. There's a lot. Look at there's. Oh, he broke three! <laughs> <laughs> I think he broke, broke almost all the four link bars <laughs> on this. Big Kuna truck and trade. That is our first score in the 20s. It's a 24. All eights across the board for Zachary Fitzwater Sr. He leads freestyle. But a two-time West Division champion, Brennan Sarland, Mel Militia, is out in Trey. He was not a happy camper after the El Paso event. Yeah, he had uh, some strong words about uh, the conditions that they had to drive in here. But uh, I... I oh, no! I the... oh, no! Back on all fours! Run! <laughs> yeah, but, um, yeah, wow. Yeah, all right. Well, it looks like he's a preferred more of a dry conditions to guy. But uh, as I was saying, I mean, I, I can see his point of view on what he said about the rain. But, uh, I mean, I, I have to disagree with him, Joe. I don't know about you because he's getting upside oh, no. down again. He's going to save it again, Trey. 30 seconds wow. into the run. He's had two amazing saves. Well, if he can uh, fill up the clock, Fitzwater, Fitzwater might not be in that uh, chair so long. Yeah, as you were saying, he was really mad about going out in the rain, and as you said, I don't know if I can agree with them. The monster, they, these are monster jam trucks. They, they can go in the rain. You just have to they adapt to it. Drive for a reason. Yeah, they oh, got to oh, adapt oh. to it. He's on two wheels. He'll put it back down. He's near the final 30 seconds. I mean, this run has been lights out from the beginning. See how long it can last, though. I mean, he doesn't have a lot of body parts. <laughs> oh, whoa! Goodness! And it's back on the all fours. Is the truck oh. still running? Is he good? Oh, he's going to tap the wall. There it is. 20 seconds is left, Trey. Can he refire the truck? Did you see the amount of air he got? Yeah, and I, I thought he was well, for we the stands Well, if we were yesterday, we were not going to last that long. Yeah. Oh, and he's fired it back up. Final 20 seconds. Did that ring? How did nothing break on the truck yet? I can't believe it. Backflip, second of the night. He lands it. Is the Gravedigger in, in question here? Oh, looks like it's lining up for it. Is he going to hit it? No. No, he just missed it. <laughs> he didn't go but for it. But he filled the clock, Joe, so I don't know. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. I think we might have another new leader. I think that that should definitely take the lead, Trey. And after the anger of last week, I think he took the anger out here in NRG Stadium. Well, 
we'll have to see what the judges think, but uh, let's look at some of these replays here. Look at the air he got off of this. He's going to land on the back of the truck here on top of the blue car. Joe, I think this was the first hit. Oh, yeah, that was the first hit, Train. Look at this. Back onto all fours, but that is not going to be the only front flip of the run. We'll see in just a little bit, but this save as well, very impressive. I don't know how nothing snapped on that first hit there. I mean, he landed completely on the tires here. He was able to pull out of it. I can't tell if the back of the frame's maybe a little bit twisted there or not. It looked like it might have been, but uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it was, let's be honest. <laughs> Could be. This truck took a lot of hard hits right here. Look at this. Off of the bus. It's catapulted it. Wow. That is high. Yeah. And I, I don't know if the truck shut down. They may have also shut it down with how it was flipping towards the stands. I don't think he was going to complain. He might have tried to figure out where he was. Yeah. Wow. Trey, wow. that, that is a big score this early on. A 29 for Brennan Sarland. He has to be one of the drivers with the most 29s in history as well. He might be right about that, but think about it. We have how many trucks left? And uh, they only got one point to try to beat Metal Militia. Yep, seven trucks, including Lucas O Crusader and Logan Williams. So uh, good luck to the competition, I guess. <laughs> He might be fighting for second place by this point, but uh, we'll have to see what uh, Lucas Oil is. He's, I think he just lost a flag, yeah. but uh, we'll have to see what uh, he can do out here with this uh, track that is um, very challenging, I guess is how you can put it. Very challenging, but as we've seen oh, oh. on two wheels, the back foot may put him back down. Uh, as we've seen, the past two drivers that have gone out, they have been so, so good over their careers in the BMG Monster Jam Series, and they were able to master it. Logan Williams trying to do the same, a nice wheel right there, but the oh man catches God. him! And it's upside down, and the car stack is going to cancel out any chance to save it. Wow, did you see the way that thing grabbed the truck and just flipped it? Yeah, it, it, it just, it, it wanted it gone, and it, 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 it threw it away. I'm starting to think this track has a mind of its own, because, I mean, I think it's just picking and choosing <laughs> what trucks are able to survive. I mean, look at this thing. Oh, my. It just oh. trips it. Yeah, I, yeah, th this track, I think we have, we have a curse out or something. But uh, <laughs> the ghost of a Christmas future or something, I don't know. But <laughs> the, <Yeah. laughs> there is something uh, that is cursing this track. It's a 13.5 for Logan Williams and the Lucas Oil Crusader, second lowest of the trucks that have gone out so far. We'll see if Josh thinks that Jester could do anything to try and challenge with the 29 set by Brent Sarland. If you want to beat Metal Militia, you either have to time and win the tiebreaker tray or you have to get the highest score in history, 29.5 or a 30. Yeah, well, I mean, a little bit of a sketchy move right there. He went from a slap lead to a, I don't know if you call that an endo or not, but uh, it almost went over. Almost did, but uh, Josh thinks, knows he has to push it very, very hard if he wants to try and beat that 29 set by Brent Sarland. Uh, Militia, a nice little wheel right there over the uh, the bus stack, losing the uh, the rear panel of the truck, but still going on. 30 seconds into the run, 60 left. He's, oh, I thought he was lined up for the Gravedigger that early on the run. I was gonna say it might be a little too early for that. I think he, uh, I think he knows that, but uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I was with you, Joe. But no one's actually not worried. To be fair, I guess there's only been two drivers that have been able to get late enough to where they can maybe even think about it. Brent Sarlin and Zachary Fitzwater Senior. And Fitzwater broke right at the end, and Brennan decided against it. So really, there's only been two drivers that have gone after the Grave Digger so far that uh have even had the chance really this oh did you see the way that back of that truck hit there that was a that was a little bit weird of a hit yeah, this truck is uh, taking some some beans out here today but uh, josh thinks is putting it through its paces but it's it's staying uh staying up so far within the final 15 seconds i mean yeah you better i think all the crews back there that haven't gone might want to tighten their bolts down a little bit harder just to make sure it can last but a uh, nice backflip there that was pretty that was pretty textbook he's gonna back it up here with Five seconds remaining. What's he going to do for his last hit? He's just going to gun it right here towards that middle jump. It's huge air off it. Going to land it hard on the Whoa. rear of the truck. And he's still going on, but the clock is filled. And Josh thinks that's do no more in that Jester truck. I think that's another truck you could add to the uh, broken list. I think so. There is a lot. Look at the panels uh, flapping back waving. and forth. Yeah. <laughs> Wave into the fantasy but, uh, park next to. I think he broke something on the back of the truck with that last hit there. But right there, I mean, backflip. Textbook, as you know, I think I said, I don't remember, but uh, <laughs> nicely, I don't even think he had to back up there. I think he had plenty of room. Yeah, I, th I think he was trying to go for maybe a, a moonwalk there, and it just didn't get right here. Huge air. It's going to land on the rear. Oh, yeah. The oh, frame. The, the frame broke again. That's what, three times in the past <laughs> two nights we've seen this? That's three or four trucks. I mean, that's that's insane. That, 
that is unbelievable, Trey. <laughs> I mean, we'd never seen it before. Now we've seen it so many times. I'd have to wonder what's happening. It's a lot of the Escalade bodies as well, or the SUV bodies. Uh, it's a 23 for Josh. Things That's a really good score. Third place right now. Only the third driver to get into the 20s in terms of scoring. Not bad for Josh Things and the Jester. Now we have the, the driver who was first down, El Paso. Scored very, very well there. Top five out in El Paso. Johnny Cox and the Megalodon is looking for just as good run, if not better, here in Houston. I think he's going to hit the pond for uh, the shark. He might. I mean, we saw him <laughs> do really well in the rain as a shark last week, so uh, maybe the pond will be some good luck for him. Yeah, we'll have to uh, we'll have to see. Oh, I thought he was going to get a little tangled up there, but uh, he was able to pull out of it there. The, the bus has caught a couple of guys. Either it's this bus or the other bus. He's getting some nice air right there, landing on the other side of the van. A wheelie right there as he walks off into that dirt obstacle, getting over it nicely as he's now nearing 30 seconds, and he's going to go for the pond, and he gets over the pond tray. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he wanted to test the waters just quite yet. Is this the, this is the first four-wheel donuts we've seen tonight? Yeah, four-wheel donuts. That's, that's <laughs> right with you. I think Gravedigger had the three, but uh, yeah, yeah, that's the. You're, you're not wrong about that one, Joe. He'll go over oh. the bus. Oh, he, he clipped the Gravedigger, but... Uh, yeah. A little love kiss. Yeah, it, it works out. Everything's fine. Nothing broke off the truck, so he's still going. Is he going for it again? No, he's gonna no. gonna go to the other side of it. Yeah, I think he said, uh, I got away with it once. I don't know if I want to test it again just quite yet. Oh, 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 oh no. Two wheels oh. and it's from a wheelie. That's an amazing move right there for Johnny Cox. That was such a weird way for that truck to react right there, too. As you said, it was a wheelie, but it, like, it got up onto his side, so I don't even know how. Huge air right there as he lands oh. down hard. Did something break on the front? I thought I saw the wheel turn the wrong way. It might. Yeah, something's broke. And he went for a pack, but with the broken front wheel, gets it done in the final 10 seconds. Birds are flying off this truck. Yeah. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. oh. It's back on the all fours. I mean, I don't know if I'd call that a front flip, but it they saved it, or it saved itself. <laughs> And that is it for Johnny Cox and the Megalodon. Another great run as of late here. The drivers are starting to figure out the course. Oh, yeah. Look right there. Look at that. It just snapped. I mean, we haven't really seen any trucks have trouble with it, but I, he might have been just going a little too fast. Yeah, right. Um, look at that. I mean, gets up over, and then this final move, Trey, is it cl the rear end clips the bus, Ooh. and it and watch stuffs into the ground. I mean, again, he... he Got put back on the all four wheels, yeah. so we'll have to see what the judges think about this run. Yeah, that is a save right at the end of the run. We'll see what the judges say for Johnny Cox and the Megalodon. Another solid run, a 23-5, only behind Brennan Sarlin and Zachary Fitzwater Sr. That's some good company to be behind, Trey. So Johnny Cox, third place right now in the Megalodon. Very, very good run. Now the final four, Titan and Connor Annapol is next onto the track. So last few trucks, Joe, we've had some pretty high scores, so I mean... That's one of the that's one of the good things about having a good run last week is that you know you get to learn the mistakes of what the other drivers do so you don't uh, hopefully you don't do the same thing. Yeah, we had we, we had a, many trucks go out early here in Houston. In fact, one, two, three, four, five, six go out. None were in the twenties. Now we've had since then one, two, three, four scores in the twenties. Trey, so uh, four of the five that have gone out have uh, gotten into the twenties. That is pretty impressive money that this event has the most trucks that have not been able to fill the clock. Oh, I think so. I mean, we've only seen a few, right? Megalodon filled the <laughs> clock. Jester filled the clock. We had uh, Fitzy and Big Kahuna and then uh, Brendan Sarlin. I think that's the only the only four so far. That's crazy to think about that. I mean, whoever put this track together is either really smart and uh, likes a challenge or uh, <laughs> they just threw a couple things together and said, uh, hey, let's, uh, let's hope this works out well. I don't know. I, you know, I, I think the track is uh, decent. Maybe uh, just the, the dirt out of the track. Yeah, oh! oh, no. Oh, speaking of crush cars, that just it, it looks like it just it, hit the, it looks like he hit the disconnect button. I've never seen a thing break <laughs> off like that before. And that rear of the truck, it looks like it is destroyed oh, oh. and now it's stuck on the van. Oh, no. Oh, oh, he got it off. Oh, look at look how low the rear of the truck is sitting. What isn't broke? Is it this? Is that a four-link and a tie rod, or is that two four-links, or is that all three of them? I, I don't know what that is. I think two four-links, a tie rod, maybe a shock. The wheel definitely is gone. I mean, the we wheel both know is that. The gone. <laughs> let's look at this. Let's, let's, it let's just... Wow. It didn't even look like it hit. Yeah, that thing, it just sheared it off. It's, momentum kept going. No momentum break at all. Look at the rear of that truck stuff flying around. Yeah. Look at that. Look how it's twisted. 
That is unbelievable. 20.5 for the Titan and Connor Annapol. Solid run. It's going to be top half, it looks like, at the end of the night. As now, the final three. It's Riley Sampson and Superman out next. Trey is uh, his kind of superhero buddies. They've not had the best runs. Spider-Man and Thor. We'll see if uh, Riley Sampson can try and change that. Oh, if we're being technical, I don't think they're buddies. I mean, this is Team DC, Joe. Come on now. It's Marvel versus DC. I don't think he cares about the other ones. I don't think he cares, but uh, maybe he does. I don't know. Maybe. We'll, we'll have to see. That or, uh, you know, maybe he's out here just to beat them. Maybe that's what uh, yeah. Maybe that's what the, the people when determining the truck list, maybe that's what they, they put him out here for. I think if he's seen talking to them, he might be breaking contract there. I don't know what uh, what what, what the Monster GM, you know, team officials think about that, but we'll have to we'll have to talk about them. But uh, yeah, we'll have to see what he can do. I mean, this might be his track. I mean, it, it's matching perfectly. It is. The, the colors are matching perfectly, and uh, Superman likes to uh, fly, so uh, he can try and fly high here in the Superman truck. I know he likes to. He t tends to break some things too, so we'll have to see how long that can last. But he's getting a. Oh, oh he's no. getting a little squirrely. Oh, watch out for the wall. No, oh, he's in the oh. wall. Well, we were just talking about Joe. He likes to break things, and uh, I don't know if you call it a jinx, but uh, <laughs> didn't last too long afterwards. <laughs> he had about 30 seconds left, Trey. That is another run over early. We've not had many fill out the clock. Once again, only the four that were listed before fill out the clock. And right here, Riley Sampson trying to save this thing, but it just never has shot. He had maybe about another, what, five, ten feet? He might have been able to pull out of that, but the wall said uh, he wall had other plans. Yeah, the wall had other plans. Rejected it back down onto the roof for Riley Sampson and the Superman. As the scores come down, it's one of the lowest, a 14 for the Superman. Third to last right now with the trucks that have gone out. Now there's just two remaining. And just like Zach Fitzwater Sr., one of the crazy Aussies, Noah Clifton, Jurassic Attack. We'll see if he possibly has plans for the Gravedigger. Gravedigger tried to uh, impersonate. Uh, Jurassic Attack earlier with the shock sticking out through the hood. So we'll have to see what uh, we'll have to see what Jurassic Attack thinks about that. Lifting already kind of in the fight a little bit right there. The final or the, the first ten seconds, but puts it back down and no hard no foul right there. We'll go to the back of the van stack. Nice air off fit and lands nearly perfectly on the other end of the bus. He think he's gonna try to go out the the take to leader or beat Fitzwater while he's at it too. Uh, well, both would be <laughs> both both would work. So uh, we'll see what he does. Oh my oh gosh! My. That was a move, and uh, the nose is coming out. Yeah, the, uh, the I don't know if you call that the bumper or just the... I don't know what the part of that is. It's This is a really uniquely designed truck here, so yeah. it has a little bit more uh, body parts than the other ones do. Frost Thread, oh. huge sky wheelie. He'll get away from the Grave Digger in time. He'll now try and Cross Thread the van, and it, it gets him. He's caught up on it. I don't know. Is he going to try to... Did he... he oh, has, is that both? Yeah, he has stuff hanging. That's oh, look at the front. Thing. I don't know what that is. Look at the front. Look how it's leaning. Oh. He went into low rider mode. He's now upside. I don't think he's going to be able to get out of this one. But the, the front of that thing was just <laughs> destroyed. Yeah. I mean, the, we have seen a lot of destroyed trucks tonight. That one might be one of the worst in terms of how the suspension was. Look at how it's just leaning. It's, it's oh, my gosh. Rock's broken in it. I can see that dangling right there. I see a four link off the truck. I see two four links off, or maybe only one. I don't know. Oh, Sharks broke? I think both might be broken, Trey. It's a 16 for Jurassic Attack and Noah Clifton, which means, Trey, there's only one to beat Brennan Sarland in the Metal Militia, and it's Anthony Hernandez in the Max D. Well, we'll have to uh, see how much uh, destruction, maximum destruction <laughs> can do, especially on this track. I mean, it's claimed the lives of so many trucks. I don't think we've seen one person clear that triple at all tonight. Hernandez tried and barely can clear scared to see what happens if they do clear it. I mean, with the way we've seen these trucks bounce after landing with some of these huge airs, uh, I don't know if they want to clear it. Yeah, you're going to be able to stop before you get to the wall. Uh, we'll, we'll see if Anthony Nez tries to find that out, but will he be the one to go after Gravedigger, or will Gravedigger somehow survive all this event being out into the track? I mean, it'd be pretty fitting, wouldn't it? I mean, classic Max D. What, that's that was that's the height of their rival when this truck was out there. So we'll have to see if he uh, wants to continue that or not. See, Anthony Hernandez so far putting on a nice run, nearing the final half. Oh, I thought he was going for it right there, but he actually oh. stuffs it right into the uh, dirt mound right there. It looks like maybe something on the rear is broken with how it's leaning. I don't know. That could have been so much more worse, though. I mean, think about that. Oh, well, there goes the hood. There goes the hood, but he oh, lands the backflip right. nicely. No, I thought he was going to go over a little bit, but uh, no, that could have ended up so much worse. If he would have hit it a little bit lower on that jump, I mean, that could have that been the end of the run. 
final 30 seconds for Anthony and the Maxi trying to go back to back oh, to win in the broke. West Division. Trey, can he end this out? I don't know. I, I hope so. <laughs> oh, no. no! Oh, 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 oh! He just stepped right into it and actually flipped him over, Trey! <laughs> well, I don't know if you call that instant karma or not, Joe, but, uh... I think he directed it right towards Gravedigger. I mean, he pretty much speared him. I think he aimed for it. He, th th there's the broken shock on the Gravedigger. You can see it dangling off, but uh, Hernandez aimed for it, and it ended up actually biting him. I will have to see what Team Gravedigger thinks about that one after this event, but uh, wow, that was... Uh, I didn't think it was going to last, but uh, I don't know if it's mo any more fitting to uh, see it be maximum destruction go after. I mean, look at this right here. Look at... Oh, oh my. my goodness. And then he ramps off him, and it flips him over backwards. I'm sure... Now, if he would have used him as a backflip ramp, that would have been pretty impressive. <laughs> that would have been pretty impressive. And I think now Team Gravedigger is hoping that uh, they get a max down to the track at some point, and then they go out <laughs> after him. Uh, we'll see oh, what the scores are. 22.5 for Anthony Hernandez. That is fifth place, but Trey, after the heartbreak of last week, the anger of last week, Brendan Sarlin wins by five points in the Metal Militia. He, uh, he might be hoping for some more rain just for the uh, good luck to come the following week. <laughs> I mean, as you said, anger to uh, – I don't think he's too angry anymore after this one. I think he's pretty happy. But look at all these kind of lower scores. We didn't have many trucks score in the 20s. I think only six of them. And as we'll go look at the points, there's going to be a massive separation here because a lot of the drivers that did poorly did poorly again. A lot of drivers that did good did good again. As you see right here, Max D, Mel Militia. 24, 21 up. Big Kuna, 15. Jurassic Attack, Megalodon, 14. Look at the cutoff, 6 points. And look down below. Cody Harrison, 8 below. Brandon Beal, 10 below. Pringleman is 16 below. There's a, such a huge divide between the drivers that have done well both events and the drivers that have done poorly both events. We'll see how week 3 goes. Will this be the turning point? We'll see you guys next week.